Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video on must-have fall makeup items for me. Um, now, I am going to be doing a video on fall beauty trends and stuff like that. So this is just what I actually prefer to wear out of my entire collection, what I like to wear during the fall time. Um, so, yeah. I want to go ahead and get started because it's going to be pretty long, um, but I am going to do from lips to lashes and highlighters and pretty much everything I am covering for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started in with the lip products. So uh, first off, I have this Maybelline lipstick in Make Me Pink. It's just a super pretty mauvey pink, and I freaking love this. Um, it's perfect for fall. I also have a couple other Maybelline ones. Let me grab them. Um, from the Vivids collection, I have Hot Plum, which is this guy. Just such a pretty plum color, which is perfect for fall, transitioning from summer to fall time. And then also, what's this? Brazenberry, which is a really pretty darker plum, which I love for after you've transitioned. Um, but those are really good. And um, the Rock, what is this? The Rock Couture Shine Lip Gloss in Lavish. It's just such a pretty, it's kind of corally, but if you put it over a certain color, you can change the tone of it. So it's super pretty. Um, I have this Berry M in number 132 Pinky Gold Shimmer Sparkle thing. Super pretty. Um, it is summery and fall time, so it could be a transition color for you. Um, but I love it for fall time. Um, then this, what is this? Sugar Rose fresh tinted lip treatment it's so pretty it just adds like mine's kind of melted but it's so pretty it adds a nice tint to your lips and it's super moisturizing I love them if you haven't tried any of these fresh lip butter lip things they are amazing definitely try them um I'm just trying to pick them up because I have a bunch um let's see this one is a Dazzle Shine Lip Gloss from Victoria's Secrets and Dazzling Sangria. You actually can't get this one anymore. But anything with that nice berry tone to it is super pretty. Um, this Too Faced Lip Stick in Living in Sin. It's the prettiest dark plum shade. I know that was a trend last year. It could still be going on. I haven't done my research yet, but I still love it. Um, the Too Faced Glamour Gloss in Peekaboo. It's just a really pretty mauve color. I love it with some gold shimmer. This... L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Le Gloss in Mystic Mauve. Again, a really pretty dark plum color. And then the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Darling, which is that light lavender, but it's just... It's pretty for spring, and I like it for fall to deepen it up a little bit as well. Rock Couture Shine in Couture. Um, it's just a mauve shade. In couture and then the other one I have is in sheer luxe which is like a ox blood color which I I like that as well and then this one by elf here is a matte lip color and this is in the shade natural which is so pretty because it's like a really pretty mauve shade and it's so pretty plus it's matte um, and then the last one is siren from covergirl and it's this really pretty pink lipstick. It's pretty bright, but it has gold undertones, and that's why I like it so much for the fall time, because I'm all about, like, the gold undertones for fall. And my last one is the Urban Decay Lip Junkie in Naked. Just a pretty natural color. I really like it. I'm wearing it right now. Okay, moving on to... Okay, first is Naked 2 palette. I just love it so much, guys. They're beautiful, natural colors. I just did a tutorial with this, um, and it's already up on my channel, so it'll be linked down below for you guys. My favorite shades in here are Half Baked, YDK, Verve, Busted, Tease, which I actually filled in my eyebrows with Tease today, and I really like the way it turned out. Um, so, that's the, this is limited edition, you can't, it's harder to find. Um, but MAC, She Who Dares, I love it because it's just that nice dark, mine is shattered by the way, it's a nice dark black with green slash blue sparkles in it. It's so pretty to create a really nice look. Um, MAC Pigment in, this one's in navel blue. It's just a really pretty navy blue, so anything navy blue I really like for the fall. Um, this one is an e.l.f. eyeshadow. This is a mineral eyeshadow. It's an earthy. It's just a really pretty green. Um, I really like this one because it's kind of golden, or there's more, there's golden tones in it, and those are super affordable. They're three bucks, so 
definitely get it. This one is another mineral eyeshadow by e.l.f. and this one's in beachy. It's just a really pretty navy blue and I like to put this on the lower lash line. Um, and then my favorite, I love this, can't wait to wear it again, is Crush's, Crush Cosmetic in Burlesque. It's that really pretty cranberry color, which is super big, I'm assuming, for the fall. I hope it is, because I like it. Pigment by MAC in Forest Green, but any dark green will do. I really like that one. Um, this MAC Duo in, what's this in? Odd Couple. Just plum. I really like plum eyes for the fall time, and it's got that really pretty gold sheen there for your eyes. And um, this quad from Flirt. It's got a gold, two purple, two purples, and a champagne color. This one has more gold sparkle purple, and this is like a mauve matte purple. And I really like this. I'm wearing it today on my eyes right now. And then the Wonder Woman Mac. This is in Defiance. Um, so these are just so pretty, but if you have like Max Color Number 4 palette, that one is pretty much the same. I have this Bare Essentials Mascara Beautifully Luminous Lashes. This is in bronze. I'm not sure if you can get this anymore. Um, maybe on Amazon, but it's so pretty. But any like sparkly mascara for like a special night out, especially in like bronze or something golden or whatever, is so pretty. Um, and then another mascara is by Wonder Woman as well, but Maybelline Great Lash. Maybelline Great Lash has the different color mascaras now, and this one is a purple one. So it's in Victorious Opulash, which, you know, it's just purple. And any purple mascara would work. Um, okay, for eyeliners, I've got three here. I love all of these. Um, this NYX one in Champagne, I think. Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Silk, sorry. It's a gold, sparkly um, eyeliner. And I have this Berry M Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in number 11. I'm not sure because they don't have, like, names. They're all numbered. But it's the green one. And it's really pretty. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. It's just so pretty to add that green to your lid. Or on the lower lash line wherever you want to apply it. And then this one, MAC glitter eyeliner in MAC glitter eyeliner in lime dandy I love this one it's so pretty and I'm not sure if I did look with it if I didn't I'm going to because I'm in it's my number seven boots in candy pink but this one is more like why does it look like that I don't think but I just like this one for the fall but it's in candy pink. I'm not sure if you can still get that one. I tried to make sure everything was still available. Um, then this one is, I don't know what the name is because it ripped off the bottom. But it's a Physician's Formula product with the pearls on the top. This one is for medium to dark skin. What the crap am I talking about? I believe. And it's just a really pretty like bronze shimmer. But you can't tell that it's bronze at all. It's so cool. So I really like to wear that in the fall time. And then What's Up from Benefit. It's just a really pretty champagne skin tone shade. But it's in cream form. So if you're not into that, then you might not like that. And then these two blushes I have from e.l.f. This one's in bronzed. Um, which sounds crazy to use as a blush. But, like, it's amazing as a blush. It just gives you a supernatural look. So that's in bronzed. And then the other one is in Fleshed, which I love. It's like a berry pink. So it looks like that. And it's in Flesh. It's just a pretty berry pink. Pretty much it, you guys. I hope you well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I did a nail polish ball pick um, video, so I'll link that down below as well as the tutorial with my naked palette. I will link all of that down below. If this was helpful for you guys, let me know in the comments. Also request any videos that you want to see for, um, fall, um, any upcoming videos that you might want to see. Uh, my schedule is pretty much almost, like, complete. I just have a few days where it's not, um, fully filled in yet so give me some help guys I also need some help knowing what you want my friend to do for some Halloween looks and she can do pretty much anything I would assume she's an amateur though she's not like you know she's 
pretty good actually she made me look like a cat and that was so awesome um but yeah she wanted me to ask you guys what you want to see for some scary halloween looks because i'm going to be doing some glamorous ones um i guess i'm not really that great at doing scary ones um although i pulled off a zombie look i just i would do it again for you guys but i would want to buy like a dummy head and do it because ugh, taking it off was horrible but i didn't have any blackheads so, um, yeah, but just let me know what you want her to do for some looks in October. Maybe she can do just one, she can do two, um, whatever you want her to do is completely cool, but just keep in mind that she's an amateur, so, um, and yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later, I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, bye guys!